McGill, and today's Do It The Zoo is... The Tiger! The Tiger is the largest, most powerful cat in the entire world! A male Siberian Tiger can get close to 800 pounds! Now, Tigers here at Metro Zoo are exhibited together. They're three females. That's a little bit of a misconception because Tigers are solitary cats. They're found by themselves in the wild. One of the things that makes tigers different than most other cats is they love water. So you'll often see the tigers swimming in the pool here and in the wild, in the water, looking for their prey. The stripes of a tiger play a very important role in camouflage because in the wild, these tigers are found kind of in grasslands and in woodlands and the black stripes and white lines. I've been in India, seen these tigers and almost walked right by them. Well, I was on top of an elephant because I wouldn't be walking where the tiger is. But the bottom line is the camouflage is fantastic. Here at Metro Zoo, one of the most popular tigers is our white tiger. People think the white tiger is a different subspecies, but you know what? It's not. There's that one gene in the tiger that loses its orange color. That makes it the white tiger. So it's not a different species, just a genetic mutation. But very rare. Why? Because in the wild, the white tiger is going to stick out. People are going to see it. They can't camouflage. Tigers need their camouflage to get their prey. Now, sometimes you'll see these cats smell something and then lift their heads up and make this really funny face. It's a behavior called Fleming. And what they're doing is they're seeing if another cat's been around and they're actually smelling the hormones left by that other cat. Now, when you see these guys laying down, people come to the zoo, they go, oh, they're so cute. Remember, the most powerful and possibly the most dangerous cat in the world. Come to Metro Zoo and see them. Until next time, I'm Ron McGill for Two at the Zoo. Keep it wild. Do it for me now. Come on. Yeah! Oh, man!